What's good, YouTube? It's no one Miss CJ. Welcome to a brand new video. Now, today, I gotta keep it a buck. I'm genuinely excited to show you guys this point guard. This is my 6'6 six, six slashing playmaker. A lot of people don't even know what to expect with a build like this. If you guys ever watch Halliburton slash SGA play basketball, this is exactly what you get in this build. You get a crazy layup. I'm talking Hall of Fame acrobat. Yeah, all those type of bad. Hall of Fame midi magician. We're able to shoot the lights out in the midi. Playmaking is crazy. We're gonna be diamond our teammates, dribbling like crazy. And then, if you could, in the comment section below, name a no one Miss CJ build with no defense. <laughs> I'll wait, you know what I'm saying? This is what we do. So I'm gonna be showing you guys this build. It does a lot of everything. I can guarantee you, bro, you're gonna have a lot of fun like me. This is a mixture of every single build possible. I'm talking playmaker, bully guard. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting, man. Before we get into this, man, before I get started with this video, I need you guys to hit that like button. It helps a lot of people find our channel and really just helps other people get to see this video just like you guys. So it does mean a lot to me and also for the other people watching, as well as that subscribe button. If you wanna stay notified with any type of build video, jump shot video, streams, upcoming streams, and stuff like that, Make sure you guys hit subscribe because it's gonna be a vibe, man. We vibe over here, we lit. So that being said, though, I'm gonna show you guys the builder. Let's get straight to how to make this build. All right, your boy is running out of slots. As you guys can see, I'm on slot eight. I'm about to be on slot eight really soon. But man, I gotta say, these build creations have been really fun. A lot of my builds are really just inspired by watching NBA games or even like my friend. I want to give a big shout out to my boy Reese. All right. Hey, I got you. I would never make this build if I didn't see him cook up like he did that day. But then I was like, yo, I want a new play style, okay? This build is a way different, bro. I wanted to do jelly videos and stuff like that anyway. So, perfect time. So, when you create this build, you want to go with... You can either go to point guard, shooting guard, small for whatever you really want, for real. I would go point guard because this build is not meant to play the lock or any of the two guard necessarily. But we made him a point guard, right? Point guard, 6'6". Six, six. I went 180 for the weight. You can go higher if you really want to, if you want to get a different body style. Um, and for the wingspan, I went 6'6 six, six again. Looking back, I'm not sure why I didn't go 6'10, but we'll take it. I ain't gonna lie. We'll, go, we'll take it 6'6. Six, six. That's insane. Why didn't I go 6'10? Hey, it's too late. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this build, man. This build, bro, I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna be one of the fun gameplay builds because I can run point guard. I can literally get like 20 assists in the wreck. I can play 1v1 court. Like, yes, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's all I needed to do. I don't even know if I need to make another guard this year. I'm not going to lie to you. So let me show you guys the stats, how to create this build and everything that I'm not going to ramble. I know some people will be like, yo, see, talk too much. My bad. All right. <laughs> Having layup, I'm going to upgrade this all the way up to a 91. We are, we set in the bar up for this video. I ain't going to lie to you. If that's what you wasn't expecting, that's what we're doing. So 91 layup helps us to get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, Gold Slithery, Hall of Fame Acrobat. You see all the badges, float game. All of these badges right here, bro, are insane. Like all of them put together is just bro i can't even put my i can't even tell you bro pro touch and flow game go together scooper and pro touch pro touch pretty much connects with all these badges and it just makes layups so op you guys will see some clips really really soon i'm able to green like 80 percent floors but that 91 driving layup you're gonna have a lot of fun with that i'm telling you right now um we're actually gonna skip over the driving dunk um although i'm gonna show you guys another version maybe you can get some type of dunk on them but the person the version i went with it doesn't have a driving dunk and i don't need it put that elsewhere it's all right don't even worry about it Dri 91 driving layup does it for you um post control oh you see no limit see you with a post control bag you know what I'm saying? Post control upgrade is to a 75. Silver post spin technician. I think we get silver or gold post playmaker, gold post, post face phenom. Some of these badges are actually going to go up because of the action. So 75, just it's really just allows you to get nice spins, bro. I be drop stepping a lot of guards. They can't stop it. I, they fall to the ground every time. And if there was a post takeover, you, you'd be cooked. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's finishing now. I'm, I'm not I'm not too sure. You guys can let me know in the comments. But 75, yeah, it's going to do the deal. So we're able to play like Shea Gilgis. If you guys ever watch Shea Gilgis play, bro, I don't get his game personally, but we we gonna put it in the game you understand what i'm saying 75 post move with the 91 driving layup i can e easily hit a float on you every time it's not fair bro if you're a small guard bro gg i ain't gonna lie i figured out how to use it too yeah bro it's clips i ain't gonna lie to y'all boys man um let's upgrade the mid-range now mid-range we're gonna upgrade this to a 92 92 mid-range as you guys can see look at look at the shooting matters dog you know what i'm saying pretty much everything on gold in hall of fame at least in the mid-range department you know what i'm saying some three-point badges are in the game that we're not going to be able to have unfortunately it's okay though it's all right because we get a lot of good badges we're gonna upgrade the three-point shot to a 78 now, a lot of people might be like a little skeptical about it i ain't gonna lie i, I can understand you know what i'm saying I, I honestly wanted to go with like a 94 3 that was the original way i had it but i was like yo if i already get the jump shots i need i can go to 79 three-pointer hit consistently and put all my stats elsewhere on defense and free throw stuff like that that, right so i want to i want to have fun i'm gonna challenge myself with going like a 79 three-pointer or 78 my bad and you guys are just gonna see how it works how two and two work together the mid-range is our green window so we have a 92 green window for the mid-range in the three-point line so don't leave me open um for the free throw we upgrade this to a 71 that's done with our shooting let's get straight to the playmaking man playmaking this build is one of them too i ain't gonna lie it's the first build i have this year at the point guard position 
<laughs> with over 75 pass. Now we normally go with 75. If you guys uh, made any of my builds, we just go with 75. But we're gonna upgrade that jump with 89. And you guys know what pass style is at 89, bro? My man's Halley. You know what I'm saying? So we would have passed the rock. My man, like my man's Tyrese Halliburton, Gold Diamond, Silver Needle. This makes my player better if you, if it makes sense. Like I feel like a 75 pass is cool, but some of the passes I throw, like some people are just stunned every time. It just gets my teammate open every time. It's like we win more games when I have a higher pass. I thought it was. I ain't gonna lie. It's just like if you're capable of just passing to the man if they're open, that's smooth. But it, being able to stun defenders and um just have your teammates always open dang near, but some of these passes is insane, bro. So 89 pass accuracy is lit. And for the ball handle, we're gonna upgrade our our ball handle to a 92. This allows us to get the Trey Young, of course, but also ankle breaker, unpluckable gold, um, handles for days on gold, blow by, speed booster gold. Yeah, we get a lot of great badges. You know, it's funny thing is. A lot of these tall builds are not going to be as fast as you with the ball because they get silver speed boost. We get gold. So this is a lot more overpowered than a lot of people really think. I'm going to be able to ice up. Bro, you're not even going to be able to stop me from the handle side of things. I'm going to be able to shoot the midi. I'm going to be able to drive like crazy. Like, what can we not do if we're being realistic, man? What can we not do out here? We're going to upgrade the speed ball to 83. And this allows us to get speed booster on gold when we get the opportunity to. We get to score all three levels like crazy, I'm telling you. Let's talk about the defense. The defense isn't bad either, bro. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's a lot, a lot of my builds actually have similar, like very similar stats to this, if not the exact same. 55 interior defense. That 55 just allows us to get shot contest in the paint. Um, we're 6'6, six, six, by the way. If you guys go with the 6'10 um, wingspan version, you're better off than I was. I ain't gonna lie. You get stops in the paint, put your hands up. A lot of small guys won't be able to drive. The big man won't be able to drive because you're actually tall. Perimeter defense. Upgrade this to a seven. Oh, I went too high. 72. 72 allows us to get some of the thresholds for the badges. I'm talking challenger, ankle braces, workhorse as well. It doesn't pop up, but we get workhorse when we upgrade our stamina. And I believe fast feet as well. Yeah, we get fast feet as well. So we're gonna be late, bro. We're gonna be good. Yeah, go with that 72. Um for the steel, we're upgrade this to 85. That's one in that one two combo. I feel like you go with 72, 85. 85 steel helps to get that silver glove interceptor right stick ripper. So yeah. If you guys try to test me, I'm ripping you, bro. Don't 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 get too flashy. You know what I'm saying? Be able to keep holding my ground out here. You could say our defense is valid. Now, I think my block could have been way higher. I actually could have got chased down artists if I wanted to, but I decided to leave the vertical alone. You know what I'm saying? You need a 60 vertical. And since I don't have dunk, I didn't want to like spend too much points on vertical. I feel like I'm gonna leave it up to the big man anyway. I'm not gonna be like LeBron enough. So I was just like, that's smooth. But put that pain in the passion. We put that uh the block we wanted into our rebound. We get a 60 rebound, so now we get rebound chaser. So this is gonna be crucial. I'm not gonna lie, in wreck, I can get triple double. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about uh if my if my teammate misses or something i can get rebound chaser get the board break starter we out you know what i'm saying it's an easy bucket um and rebound is just clutch i'm not gonna lie a lot of people don't invest in it a lot of people don't even care to invest in it and I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna see a lot of six, eight point guards right here with no rebound. It's insane. But hey, it makes a world of a difference. You're gonna be able to get rebound animations that um people without the badge can't. So make sure you definitely upgrade that rebound to a 60. Um, and let's focus simple as that. For speed, upgrade this to a 86 so we can get gold speed booster, gold hyperdrive. As you guys can see, we going dumb, bro. This is insane. Like we shouldn't be able to get this on a 66, but we can't. You feel me? 86, um, yeah, for the speed acceleration, upgrade this to a 73 for that silver blow buys. Um, this is a key mission you guys definitely invest in that so we get silver blow buys gold speed booster you guys see the deal um for the strength yeah we're gonna get this to a 65 bro. i want a big dog you know what i'm saying not just for the sake of it but this allows us to get gold fearless a lot of people don't know that but we get gold fearless finisher silver physical handle so we're gonna be able to body people bro you guys are gonna see the animations the hot the two steps you guys remember my two steps at the beginning of year my six four? Oh my goodness bro it's this on like like but this thing it's crazy i ain't gonna lie bro we're going crazy Go fearless allows us to be physical in the paint. Like you can't really stop me. I'm not gonna lie. It's gonna be like a lot of and ones with whistle, and I'm gonna be pushing people on defense. I strength, bro. It matters so. And some people are able to blow by you easily, but if you have that strength, you're able to push and resist people, bro, in the paint, but also in the perimeter. So we're gonna be good, man. Vert, I left it alone, like I said, only because, um, yeah, I, I, I don't get any of these badges besides aerial. So like, why do I need it for? I don't need it. I don't have a dunk in. And then for my stamina, I'm put the rest of my stam. What did I? Oh, 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 my fault. I put the. Free Throw to a 67. I'm so sorry. I, I don't know. I know some records. I think my three pointer was a 77. I'm, yo, I always do this. I gotta stop doing this to y'all boys, man. 77 three pointer. That's why. Okay, that makes sense. 77 three pointer. This is exactly how I went so I can get that 90, 99 stamina because that's gonna be crucial. I'm not gonna lie. You ain't trying to be blinking out here. Then you can put the post control to a 76. And now you created my 6 6 build. Now, if you guys feel like some of these stats are just like, I don't need all that. You don't need post control. Even though it's cheap, you don't need post control. You can lower it if you want. It just gives you another element to your game. You can fade. You can score all three levels. Also, the pass. I know a lot of people don't aren't really like I don't care about the pass for real. I don't care about throwing dimes. You can lower your pass to a 75 if you want, right? And then shoot. 
your three pointer gets to an 88. That's actually insane. First of all, that's crazy. You can upgrade your layup to like a 95. Your perimeter defense or steal to a 91 or 90. Put it wherever you want. I ain't gonna lie. You can invest like crazy into your stats and make your build like a whole different uh, animal than I am. I ain't gonna lie. But mine is designed specifically for my place. I wanted like I don't want all my builds to do the same exact thing, man. I feel like I got in that phase where a lot of my builds had 75 dunk um just kind of meta just be able to finesse the meta so i wanted to do something different and give myself 89 pass so i can run the one actually like throw dimes get assists score all three levels play defense like this build is perfectly fun like, it's fun for me i ain't gonna lie i feel like highly slash sga out but that's my version you choose whatever way you want to go you can take off this pass if you want do your thing man do whatever you want to do put on your dunk but this is my version of the build and i'm going to show you guys what the shades are real quick you know what i'm saying Mark Jackson, D'Lo, and Marcus Smart. I don't see any of these people. You know what I'm saying? I see SGA, LeBron, KD, but it's all good. I, I, this is this is why I went with a low three pointer, okay? Because I actually did remix it with a higher three point, like an 85, something like that. But I like that name. I ain't gonna lie. People are not gonna know what to expect. I should have upgraded this build with you guys. You know what I'm saying? But let me show you guys. I'm 86 right now. If you guys are thinking just budget, I spent only 200. Not only. I spent 200k on this build so far. Y'all yeah, know how expensive this game gets sometimes, so I'm trying to rack up some VC as we speak to get this build at a better level. So right now, the clips that you guys probably seen in the in, like the videos, these are all my stats. I don't even have my 90 layup yet. I don't have my 92 ball control yet with all my animations and badges. My defense is tight mid. I ain't gonna lie. So I'm gonna be like, bro, I'm gonna get way more steals, dribble for way longer, shoot way better, drive way better. It's only up from here. I ain't gonna lie. And you guys have seen me just hooping. I've been hooping with this build. I think um I've won about 15 games yesterday. I I, I went straight to park. But yes, man, I'm excited to be able to cook with this build let me show you guys my badges so far i got two step hall of fame but these badges can actually hit gold i just have to upgrade them the ratings and stuff like that but as you guys can see these are my badges i'm gonna be at a whole different level when i'm done bro i'm hitting straight to that sunset park bro if you know you know all right if you don't know what i'm talking about i do have a badge method where you can get all your badges literally max and your overall max in under 24 hours it's not capped you want the proof here's the pudding you understand what i'm saying check out this video right here this is how you get all your badges max on nba 2 games 24 love y'all boys i'll see you guys in the next video